Good day and welcome to today's construction class. My name is Oluwa Tumbi Blessing or La Leko, the founder of Michael Tech. Alright, today I will be uh, explaining the concept of how to uh, find either the major axis, the minor axis or the focal point of an ellipse. To find either the major axis, the minor axis or the focal point of an ellipse ellipse all right now let us take for example we have uh, let us say we have uh, this line okay all right like this uh, let me use a black let me use a black okay so if we have uh, this particular line as displayed on the screen we have this line right here and we have another one intersecting it right here okay like this all right and uh we have uh okay let me use my compass so let us assume on our major axis a b we are having let's say a length of uh a length of uh, 200 centimeters yeah let us pick 200 centimeters 200 centimeters on our major axis so i'm going to adjust my compass to so the radius of 200 centimeter sorry the radius of 20 centimeter so let us pick our major axis to be 20 centimeter so the radius is going to be what is going to be 10 centimeter so with the radius being 10 centimeter i'm going to change that to uh, a red okay changing that to a red so i'm going to pick my compass right here station it at the middle which is this area right here so stationing it at the middle I'm going to uh, have my hack right here on that axis so then revolving it to this axis also i'm going to what, uh, have an arc right here so we can set this first uh, and second arc okay the distance right here from a the distance from mark a all the way to uh, mark b is 20 centimeter like that because we use radius what radius 10 centimeter throughout okay radius 10 centimeter so we are going to call the middle this midpoint where uh so we are going to denote that area as mark o yeah we denote that area as mark what mark o so the distance from a to o is 10 centimeter while from o to b is also what is also 10 centimeter that gives us our what our major axis so for our minor axis let us use uh let me check okay let us assume we are using okay let's look for something not too big so let's pick our minor axis okay our minor axis let's pick radius of six centimeter so our minor axis is going to be at mark of uh 12 centimeter okay 12 centimeter so that will be radius was radius six centimeter so with radius six centimeter i strike towards the top and towards the bottom from mark o from mark o as it will so i'm going to name this area mark uh mark c right there mark c okay while this other area at the bottom will be denoted as mark what mark d this area at the bottom is mark what mark d so picking my compass then setting it at the center so now i want you to actually take note of uh some concept here now in this scenario we are given the major axis we are given the minor axis we are told that our major axis is 20 centimeter our minor axis is one is 12 centimeter our major is 20 centimeter our minor is 12 centimeter so which means if i measure distance from a to b i'll be having what 20 centimeter if i measure the distance from c to d i'll be having what 12 centimeter now if you are told to make use of uh, either focal point method or maybe you need to actually do something and you need to actually get the focus of your ellipse how do we get the focus of an ellipse how do we get the focus of an ellipse now in this scenario if you are to get the focus of an ellipse then you will have been given the major and the minor axis so after you've been given the dimension for the major and minor axis then it is easier to get our focal point how do we get our focal point with length a o which is what i'm going to do now with length a o okay with length a o and you remember our a o is what is 10 centimeter with length a o with length a o with length a o all right uh 
with length A O. I'm going to stand at mark C. I will stand at mark C. I will stand at mark C. All right. So standing at mark C with my 10 mm, with my 10 sorry, with my 10 centimeter with the length A O, with length A O from mark C. I'm going to uh, draw an arc on the major axis plane. So you see my arc striking it at that junction. Then also right about here. It is also what striking it right here. Okay, so as it is now, so uh this is going to be my uh uh this is going to be my F1. Okay. Sorry, that's a mix of something. So this area is our mark A, which is done. So F1. So my F1 is uh, this junction right here. Okay, that's my F1. That area is my F1. Okay. So and this junction right here is my what? My F2. Which is what right here. That is my what that is my F2 and that is my, my focal point. So what does that imply? That implies that with length A O at mark C or mark D, I will get my what my focal point F1 and what and F2. That is it. Okay, that is it. Now, what about a, a scenario whereby you are given the major axis and the focal point, but you are not given mark C and mark D? Okay, so I'm going to actually prove that to you now. So in this scenario, we are given A B, which is our major axis, and we are given distance of our focal point F1 and F2, but we are not given the distance of our minor axis. So how do we get that? It is quite easy also. It is quite easy. All you have to do is pick length A O. Pick length what? Length A O, which is what I'm going to actually show you now. Okay, length A O. You see? That same length A O, 10 centimeters, with length A O. I'm going to stand at F1. With length A O standard what F1 or F2, then you what? Do you see that now? So standing at F1, then I'm going to what? Uh, strike my arc. You see, and you see now our arc is, is passing through max C. That is it. So with length A O standard F1, then what? Draw your arc. Draw your arc. Do you see? So with length A O standing at F1, I will get my what? I will get my minor axis, which is what C and what and D. Now. Another scenario. Now I've created two scenario. Now I've created when given the major and minor. How do we get focal point? I've created that. So I've created when given major and focal point. How do we get minor? That is the one I finished just now. So the third one is how do we get our major axis when we are given F1, F2, then C and D. So if we are given our minor axis, then our focal points. How do we get our major axis? How do we get our major axis? So all you have to do is Pick your compass and pick F1 to C with the length of F1 to C with radius F1 to C. After picking radius F1 to C, stand at mark O. Then standing at mark O, you are going to uh, have your what? Have your A and B as you can see. Do you see that? So with radius F1 to C, okay, with radius F1 to C, stand at mark O and you are going to what? have your major axis which is what a and b and those are the uh, means which you can actually use to figure out any of the sites that we're in given so it's just like uh should we say uh is it a substitution or elimination method in mathematics okay so that's just just uh trying to interchange so that is how to actually get the major the minor or the focal point of an ellipse when any of those informations are not what, are not provided so once again my name remains Olua Tumbi Blessing or Lalekon the founder of Michael Tech kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it thank you